if you become serious about your prayer life, just like some of us have decided to be serious, and you are consistent in praying, consistent in fasting, consistent in praying, consistent in fasting, a time will come, God will begin to send the intelligence your way. That means your spiritual senses will be activated. You'll be able to see in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to hear in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to perceive in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to understand things that you were not taught as the Lord wills. You will know things that you did not learn as the Lord wills because every intercessor that becomes consistent is conscripted into the duty of watching. And everything that God wants to do must be midwifed by a watcher. And just in case you are in politics, oh, there is so much need for watching in politics because most of the people we are contending with are, have ranking with the devil. Most of the people that you are trying to achieve some stuff with have their hands in mysteries of darkness. And so you are supposed to dust your prayer mat and get ready for the watches. There is a guarantee that you have. When you sign up to become a watchman, God is under obligation to give you spiritual intelligence. The man Mordecai was in his place doing his natural work. He was doing his job. Please help me tell your neighbor there's a difference between your job and your work. For instance, your job pays salary, your work pays reward. Still preach you. You are still preaching. You are still preaching. The motivation for your job is money. The motivation for your work is purpose. In the Garden of Eden, God gave Adam not a job but work. Preach, preach. And the reason why I'm making you preach is because if you get a job with set Zenit Bank, don't think that is your purpose. It's your job. I've seen several people in Lagos. They wake up 5 a.m. in the morning, hop on the bus, and they get to Victoria Island and get, get back home 11 in the night, and they do that for 27 years, do that for 34 years, <laughs> and then they go to a church as a culture. And they believe they are doing something great. You, <laughs> the systems of this age are helping to waste your potential. Mordecai was assigned to the gate of the king, but he knew his work. His job was a security personnel, but his work was the work of a watchman. It was because of his work that he tore his garments and wore sackcloth and ashes. Not because there was strike. Not because his salary was delayed. Oh my God. Are you with me? Okay. So, the, the, his salary was coming. He was still effective on his job. But he did not forget what? His work. He had earned laurels, laurels in the kingdom where he served. And there were opportunities for him to have been redeployed from the gate. He insisted that his position will be where? The gate. Why? Do you still remember? Do you remember? No, you don't. I, don't. I don't think you do. Because in the culture of the Israeli people, what we call our Senate today, House of Assembly, places where decisions are made that are bind, binding on the populace. What we call, do you understand that? The House of Representatives is at the gate. That's where elders gather to take decisions that are binding on people that are in the city. You with me? So now they were in a situation that was not Israel. But the man maintained the culture. He was an elder in his time. So he preferred the gate because of the significance of the gate. Even though he had opportunities to have been redeployed, he remained there because it reminded him of the strategic position of the elders at the gate. I don't have time to take you to the book of Lamentations where we see an obituary of a civilization, an obituary of a city. 
part of the indicators of the obituary of, his, of the city was that the elders have ceased from the gate. It means they had no house of assembly anymore. They had no senate anymore. So any man could do what he wanted to do. There were no laws that re regulated the activities of people because that government at the gate was no longer in place. That's part of what constitutes the obituary of what? Oh, you're not with oh. <laughs> Can we talk deep? We can't talk deep here. Oh my God. Because you're already fainting. I'm seeing some people, they are, the blood pressure is going up. The man stayed by what? The gate. You need to be a Jew to know the meaning of that. Instead, where? Now, the point is this it doesn't matter if you are in Zenit Bank, you work for, you are the special assistant to the, to the governor on religious matters, on traditional matters. That's your job. But you need to maintain your assignment at the gate. You are one of the people that should take, make legislations that we govern the city where you dwell. We have such authority as watchmen, but you cannot function as a watchman until God gives you the grace to be able to perceive. And what Mordecai perceived was the plan that the enemy had that he wanted to implement upon the Jews. And this will ask some of you, If you had a way to bug your enemy's cell phone so that when he picks a call, you'll be hearing on the call. And then you found out that your name was discussed. That in the night, most of you are joined because you are, you are overtaken by swear. And you need to visit the swear joint every night. It's like a spell was cast on you. And you need to visit the swear joint. And a plan has been made to waylay you by the suya spot. Even if the demon of suya has possessed you, because of that intelligence, what will you do? So if you have access, hallelujah, if you have access to intelligence that concerns the plans of the enemy, it gives you an opportunity to plan against it. Part of the reasons why so many things the devil plans come so part, they are shooting the arrow, they shot it, they took six months to create it because the Bible says no weapon form. Weapons are formed. So they checked your lifestyle, checked the things you love, check that you like red wine that is 4% alcohol content. <laughs> they checked your liberties. They checked your idols and then formed a, a, a weapon that was consistent to all those indices pertaining to your life. You see, weapons that are formed in the kingdom of darkness are idiosyncratic. They are particular. They are specific to the object matter. So a weapon designed for you will not work for me. So the devil is into custom building of weapons. Nobody can be as wise as a hunter. Because the hunter doesn't put the prey on notice before he comes to hunt. In fact, it's the prey's carelessness that I'm free, I'm in liberty, that makes it vulnerable to the intelligent attempts of the hunter. But the watchers that have grace to perceive what is going on in the kingdom of darkness, they also have plans against the plan of the devil. Just like the devil builds a siege, you can also build a siege against the siege of the devil. If we have intelligence that will give us time to plan for the devil, you will see that the devil is not so strong. He takes advantage of the fact that you are not conscious of what is going on. So part of what God empowers us to watch about is to watch the activity of the enemy. Please stay with me. Mordecai did what? Pass. I just came back from a session of prayer myself. And I've already picked up a few points that the devil wants to achieve around my life. The first thing he wants to achieve is to get a false preacher to invite me to preach on his platform. The reason what, what the devil wants to achieve is to, is to, is to 
corrupt is to contaminate our convictions which we have carried for so many years we have slaved because of our convictions we have been insulted because of our convictions people called us do because of our convictions people say we are proud because of our convictions so our convictions happens to be the meaning of our existence now he has seen how tenaciously we are willing to hold on to integrity and he wants to do a fast one you know what it's only if you have a, an appetite that is not regulated by the Holy Ghost that Satan can win on your case. If you if you cannot, um, if you see every invitation as an opportunity, one day you'll be preaching with the devil's microphone. <laughs> oh, are you with me? Second thing the devil wants to achieve is to create a an accusation about me in 2022 that we make waves. Do you understand? Now, listen, you are not with me. You know anybody anywhere can come and say, Hey, you are a bad man! Is that possible? It's not possible. You have not traveled long. You, it's in the desert you've been walking, not on the highways. Because there is a, even spiritually, Satan is an accuser. Oh, okay. Let me now take you. What I'm saying is, I've checked and I've heard the whispers of the enemy and the plans he has concerning my life. So I've also made plans. If it's only the devil, that, for many of us, it's only the devil that is planning because you are oblivious of the plans of darkness. I have made plans also and in keeping with my plans the invitations I'm going to accept in 2022 are only from genuine men of God. Men that if I go before God God says, yes my son then I'm willing to respond to those invitations because I have received intelligence about the intention of the kingdom of God. Do you understand it? Part of the reason why God raised us as a ministry to raise the standards to establish a plumb, a plumb, an apostolic plumb line the body of Christ, we have wizards as pastors, we have former practitioners of divination on, with suit on the pulpit trying to speak English. We have evil men saying Jesus and they will not leave the name of Jesus. Do you understand that? So God, the, the cure to it is that God will raise original people that have not bowed themselves to the God of the age, the God of mammon, the God of performance, the God of lies. People that are in active service with the law. And when you see them, you will know the difference. Are you with me? And so the devil will fight to corrupt that possibility. Just like the kingdom of darkness wanted John the Baptist out of the way because he was the only one that, that stood for the truth. His voice was not bought. If you don't know what Satan wants to achieve around your life, you will play into his arena. So the first thing that God raises a watchman to discern is to order plans of the kingdom of God. So every year I seek intelligence. Are you with me? If you are, if your God is invitation, you will fall. If your God is money. If your God is fame, you are falling already. If your God is popularity, you, can, you cannot be quiet. You cannot operate from the background. You must say, I'm on television. Uh, they will invite you. BBC will invite you. And that invitation will be the end of you. So part of the reasons why you need to receive intelligence is so that you can build your own siege against the siege of the devil. Please help me tell your neighbor. Don't let not Satan be the only one planning. You have to plan also. <laughs> and I tell you, by the special mercy of God, we will disappoint Satan again in 2022. I have received mercy from him. Watch it. These are the days when we need to streamline ourselves and build a brotherhood that is true so that we can set a standard in the body of Christ. If I'm not popular, 
to God be the glory. If I don't have fame, to God be the glory. My prayer is not to be the most powerful. I just want to serve the will of God in my generation. Hallelujah. It's, 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 it's big enough for you to serve his will. There's nothing greater than that in the kingdom. I will not serve mammon. I didn't hear you. I will not serve vanity. I will not serve the loss of the flesh. I will not serve the loss of the eyes. I will be content with some things as I have. I will serve Jesus. Tell yourself those things every day because they are forces of darkness seeking to lure your soul so that you can, your, your security can be exposed. The Bible says that Mordecai perceived. That's the way of the watch. When you when you sit, when you begin to function diligently, are you here? In the capacity of the watchman, God will begin to give you details. Details about the activity of the kingdom of darkness and he will even give you insight into the things that happened in the territory that legitimized the activities in your family, the activities in the land, the activities in your life. Those are spiritual details. And if you are devoid of spiritual knowledge in this wise, you can do no damage to the kingdom of darkness. The weapons of darkness are sealed in hyper-intelligence. There are judicial premises that are exploited to do vengeance according to wickedness. If we do not have intelligence, that was how we played many years ago. And insecurity hit us hard. Many good men have died because of the laxity of the watchmen because the Bible says while men slept it was only in that window that the enemy was able to crawl the watchmen of the last generation have exposed us to the fury of our enemies a new set of watchmen must, be, must rise a new breed without greed a radical opposition against unrighteousness men that will stand before God and learn the technology of how to move his hand over their generation It is Elisha. There is no traitor among us. He has the ear of God. And he can hear the secrets in thy bedchamber. <laughs> the king now knew that there was no need to fight Israel. There was every need to fight Elisha. If most of what you see in your dreams, in your encounters, are plans of the enemy, because there's one of us here, he only sees the plans of the enemy. So I now sat the person down and said, because the person thinks that the dreams are prophecies. I said, no, your dreams are not prophecies. You are, you are a watchman. And the anointing that you have gives you access to see the devil's plans. All these things you are saying will not come to pass. But they are planned. And if we sleep, it will come to pass. That's what you are called to see. You are not called to prophesy them. Because if we are alive, those things will not see the light of day. But you have a gift. And if I'm not mistaken, among all of us sitting here, the person I speak of has that gift much more. Because that is the area of the person's calling. It's like Elisha that can see, hear the import of the meetings that are put up to bring darkness, wickedness, wickedness. just as God has plans for your life, the devil has plans for your life. Oh, you have not gone deep enough. Once upon a time, there was a woman that a certain church claimed was a prophet. So she does something like prophecy. And during one of the services, a mighty preacher was ministering. And she did something like prophecy and pointed him and said, ah, he's seen him. His car hit a tree and he died. That's the plan of the devil. She just prophesied. She just said, are you with me? But this prophet is experienced. He knew that revelation was not from God. Through the gift of the Sabbath of Spirit. I will stop there. I will not proceed on what happened. But you see, just like God has plans that you can pray and know, the devil also has plans that you can pray and if God is willing, to show you 
you can also know. Be with me. If you are a watchman and the grace upon you is sensitive to detecting the secrets in the kingdom of darkness, the things you are receiving is not for prophecy. Those things are subject to change. If the ministry of your watches will prosper, those things will never come to pass. Because Elisha had that gift that she could hear what was being said in the king's chamber, the king decided to send the army to bring Elisha down. Any one of you that has a, a ear to hear the secrets of darkness, listen to me. You become a major object of satanic attack. You, you need to become used to spiritual warfare. I've seen people with this grace, they say, why is this? That my own attack is hard. It's too much. I laugh. You don't know what God called you for. That's why, you see, people that know that they will lift weight. Do you understand? They practice at home. People that know that they play soccer. They don't eat pandemic. They don't eat apple. They have their diet. Do you understand? That's why, like, if I will watch soccer, it means that, um, what's that guy's name? The Portuguese man, huh? Ronaldo, he must be on the pitch because he's the only one that makes sense. I don't know what how, why they call the rest professionals. I am still wondering. May the Lord give you understanding. Sometimes I believe I can, I can perform. I know you don't believe, you don't believe my abilities, <laughs> but you have not heard my story. I played for black soccer. I played for black soccer. I played it. One of these days, we need to buy a ball. Um, Alphonse, buy a ball. Let's try ourselves. The reason why I like Ronaldo is because I have a, a little insight into the way he, he trains. What he eats. I don't think anybody can match him. His fitness is on the super side. And then you have gifts that can expose the devil and you don't train yourself for warfare. Satan will come at you with all of his machinery. And that's what happened. The king sent his army against one man, one watcher. And the servant cried out, can't you see the danger? And the solution to the servant's unbelief, fear, was the gift of sight. The moment the servant saw <laughs> the security system around the watchers, his faith was helped. Do you know that the greatest source of faith is sight? Ooh. This building you are sitting in, we saw it. It is madness to try to build this building. It's, you are mad. If you want to build this, you are mad. Especially when you have only five million in your, in your bank account. You are a madman. You should be jailed to even conceive that you could build. But you know what? We saw it. He showed us. It's just like you can take away the coat of many colors, but you cannot take away something that someone saw. It's real. No thief can break in and steal it. Nothing. The foundation alone was 55 million. In northern Nigeria? You are joking. You didn't steal money from politics? Just fake? We didn't manipulate one person for the building? Think about it. It's only what you see that is yours. It is. We saw it, and there was nothing the devil could do could, to stop it to, from coming to pass. The Bible said, They that observe lying vanities, they forsake their mess. What is real to you? What is real to me is what I see. I saw it by God, and heaven and earth can pass away, but that which God shows, He will bring it to pass. Guess what? I've seen something else. And what I saw is that this hall became too small. We now had, we now had a, a positive problem. <laughs> oh, they can take your, your car. Just like I went to report in Lagos, they stole my, my car, Toyota car, with good air conditioning. But you know what? There was something. I've seen nations bow to the cross of Christ. It doesn't matter how many constellations of demons guard the territory. I have seen it. 
the language of the of the water is I have seen it. I have seen it. And when God wants to train watchers, what he does, he will, he will ask you, son of man, what seers thou to train your perception? Because it's what you see that is truly real. The things that are seen with the natural eyes, they are temporal. The Bible says that means if all of the sight you have is the seeing that comes from your eyes, you are blind. You don't need to beg to see, just stay in intercession. The faculties of sight, of perception, of understanding, they will pop open. When those faculties pop open, then you can say that, like David, I have more understanding than my teachers. There's an economy of knowledge that is beyond that which a man can research into on the soil of his soul. 